Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, and you are in the world-famous Sipping Den. And down here, I do a review. Everything that has anything to do with alcohol. And I do everything that has anything to do with coffee, and that's where we're at today. And the first comment, I always pin it because I always put a link. I put a link. Uh, to the playlist that pertains to what I'm reviewing. In this case, coffee, but not only coffee, flavored coffee. Now, this is Infusio, and the one I'm doing today is pumpkin spice. I'll talk to you about it here in a minute. So here's the, the K-cup. Um, see those three dots? That's the boldness. There's five. This is three that are, um, you know, colored, meaning it's about a medium boldness, medium roast, I would assume. Um I bought a 12, no, no, not a 12 pack, a bunch, but there were 12 different flavors. I like the fact there were 12 different flavors in this box, so I bought it. Uh, so I could try not only different flavors, but different regions of the world, so on and so forth. Um, and then I found out what I liked about it was they said that um, they don't uh, they don't make coffee. They kind of source it, Infusio, and they don't, um, you know, ground it or uh, roast it until you order it. Then it's roasted, ground, and sent to you. Um, they had one mystery flavor, and this is this is it, the pumpkin. Now, what is it, January, February? Uh, wondering how we got the pumpkin. If it's fresh and they ground it up, they had, you know, pumpkin seems like that's something you would have around uh, from uh, October. Um, maybe they had the flavored beans and they hadn't roasted them yet. They have just uh, infused them. Or maybe they had extra spice, I don't know. Uh, I do believe it is fresh for, for the very reason that when you get these cups, this is bulging. And the reason it's bulging is when you do fresh coffee, the gases expand and it will, it will, you know, exp make that happen. Uh, I always say like when you get the little bags of coffee, uh, a lot of times they'll have that little uh, air thing where you can squeeze it and then you can smell the coffee. The real reason why that's there is to let the gas uh, escape. So I do think it is fresh. I just want to know how I got a pumpkin spice. Don't mind it. it smells good. Just hoping it's uh, it's fresh. This is kosher and on and on. You can go to the website and check it out. Um, but that's why I bought it. So let's. Uh, here's the uh, color of the coffee. Give it a smell. See if it's got the pumpkin. And it does, and I knew it would, actually, because when I was brewing it, I could smell it. Standing there watching it brew, I could smell the pumpkin um, spice. So, yeah, pumpkin spice. It smells like a pumpkin pie. Let's give it a taste. Acclamation sip. We'll get into it on this next one. Very mild. Very, very, very mild. Matter of fact, because I know it's pumpkin, I'm kind of getting that flavor. But if I didn't, I'm not even sure I would pick out the pumpkin. Um, it's a very weak on the pumpkin flavor. I'll say that for this one. Um, put a little cream in it. All right. You all know I love the heavy cream, right? Pour that in there. See what it does. See what it does. Smells the same, you know, more like the pie now because because the cream, the vanilla, the sweetness of the cream. Sometimes the fat and the cream will enhance the flavor, um, and it saved many a cup. But in this case, no. So I'm have to give it a. Um, I mean, it's not a bad cup of coffee, but there's not much to it in this one. Some of them have been very good. This one, not so much. I'll tell you why. One, it doesn't taste like pumpkin. It says pumpkin spice. And two, the um, coffee flavor isn't that isn't that great. It isn't um, isn't bad tasting. It's just very light, light tasting. Not a not a strong coffee taste. Not even a medium coffee taste. Just kind of a very light coffee taste. And I don't mean like light roast which has grassiness and, and, and fruity floral notes. I mean, just weak. So maybe I uh, should have brewed this one on the smallest um, amount of the curd, but I do them all the same. So it should hold up. But 
anyway, that's my review of this one, this Infusio Pumpkin Spice. And I got many other uh, styles, regions, and flavors of this. So uh, just check out the playlist and you'll see all my wonderful coffees. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.